You said he won't be laughing in hell. And that's exactly right. Why? Because he's going to, he's got his reward right now. These sinners that are living with their wealth and prosperity and they're, they're living it up right now, man. Drunkenness and getting high and going out and fornicating with every woman they can find or every man is hookup culture. They've got their reward. Their pleasures are in this life, but they're going to suffer for eternity. But you know what? I'll take my suffering right now. Thank you. I'll take my suffering and I'll, I'll be, I'll take that persecution and in my, in the life to come, eternal life. Hallelujah. I'm proud of you, Cody. I love you, son. I love you, my brother in Christ. You know, a, a young man in the faith, uh, just stay in the word and Continue in the word and continue in prayer and fasting and be ready for these th things to come and, and rejoice when it happens. Because we go through trials and the Lord allow these trials. Don't be found one that will fail trials. Pass it the first time so you don't have to keep going through these things. But friends, I want to end with this. I'm going to keep this video short because i got to get back to my studies. But Ecclesiastes chapter 11, I was reading this. Uh, this morning at my break between class because no matter how busy I get I'm always going to prioritize the word of God and put it first so I had a little time in the word this morning I went to Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and it says here in verse 9 rejoice O young man in thy youth and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth and walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes but know thou that for all will bring thee into judgment. Therefore remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth are vanity. You know, if you just gloss over that, those couple of verses, it can almost seem like in the beginning, Solomon steering young men wrong. But he, he doesn't. And let me explain. The Lord was showing me something this morning with these verses. Just two verses. Ecclesiastes 11, 9 and 10. And I don't know if there's a name for this. I believe so in poetry when you've got a poem or a story that the first sentence matches up with the last one. And the second sentence matches up with the second to last one. And then you've got the middle sentence, which everything culminates around. It's a center of everything. And look at this, friends. Verse 9, he says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth. And then in the very last sentence, I'm sorry, I got, I got sidetracked there. Rejoice, O man, in thy youth. First sentence. Go to the last sentence, sentence number 5 in verse 10. It says, For childhood and youth are vanity. In the case of childhood and, and they're gone. They're fleeting. And walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. You know, reading that, you think, man, what are you telling them, Solomon? To follow your heart and to, to go in the way of your eyes because a lot of these young people are wicked. You tell them to follow their wickedness and their wicked desires. And look at this second to last sentence in the next uh, verse. He says, therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh. So we see that that's not what Solomon is telling them at all. But he's telling them that their heart, to remove sorrow from it and to put away the evil from their flesh, that their eyes wouldn't be looking on the wicked things and going for those wicked things. They get this, friends, and this is, this is it right here. I'm going to end with this. Verse 9, the third sentence. This is it. This is the center of it all. Solomon says, But know thou that for all these things... God will bring thee into judgment. That's it. Live it up. Enjoy your youth. Those that are living in the world, they're, they're enjoying their youth. They're going to follow their heart and their eyes. Not like the young Christian man who's going to put away the sorrow from his heart and the evil from his flesh. They're going to live after the desires of their flesh and the lust of their heart. But know this, that God will bring you into judgment I was encouraged by that this morning. That was the verses that stuck out to me. I highlighted and I, I took notes on. And I just meditated upon it. And then shortly afterwards, my son sent me that text message about work.
and the persecution he's enduring. Narrow is the way in which he leads me And there is not time to disobey I just want to get to where I'm going And he's the only one who knows the way 